Welcome back to my channel. And today I am doing a what's in my work bag. Um, I know these kind of videos can be either um, a thumbs down or thumbs up, but I just wanted to share with you what I carry day to day with me to work. Um, and in addition, I also sometimes will carry a handbag. But today I downsized, if you, if you want to call it really downsizing, because I carry a lot of crap with me all the time. I don't know if um, you gals out there do the same, but I always seem to carry things that I might need, and that might need never really happens. And or I like to carry stuff because I bought it because I thought it would be so cute to have in my bag and take it to the office and then you know what I never use it. So let's go ahead and get started today. Um, let me reach over. <laughs> I am carrying a Chanel surf tote that is completely overstuffed with things. No matter how much I cram down into this, I cannot. Um, lighten it up so let's go ahead and just let's get started i'm going to adjust the camera here a little bit so you guys can have a nice view of my little entrepreneur barbie there but um first on in my um first thing out of my bag i can't talk right now is this pinch mini emergency um kit and um let's see if i can zoom in here and i just got this today from one of my employees who gave it to me as a birthday gift and it has these 17 essentials which I thought wow they crammed a lot in this um, little kit here so if you can see that it's kind of neat it looks like it's coming out backwards <laughs> um, the 17 essentials are things like you know lip balm a tampon hairspray earring bags, deodorant, um, mending kit, dental floss. So this is going to be perfect for when I travel to Iceland and Italy in about a month. Um, let's open, let's come out. Let's just pull what's first in front of me. Um, the next thing in, I carry are why I have two bags of teas and sugar and vitamins. I don't know. And it's starting to look like I'm carrying weed here, but I promise you, I, I don't. I don't smoke pot, um, it's just not my thing. But um, some of these, um, the teas in here are the Fit Teas. I'm sure you've heard of them. It's supposed to be a diet tea. I start and stop it a lot, and I just don't know why. I think I am, um, you know, it's just not one of those things I remember to take every day. And I have these kind of, these brain dust and um, power dust it's kind of cute but um these things here are supposed to be additives to your tea to either make you smarter or make you feel more full or to bring harmony and success in your life i don't know i was given this in a um you know in my christmas stocking and i just sort of kept it in these bags here and this just has stevia or truvia mighty leaf and different teas so i think i'll combine these when i get home later tonight um, next is this little bag I got from Ipsy or one of my employees who gets Ipsy didn't need this bag and so uh, I she gave it to me and in here I keep things like my um, you know charger for my camera and you know batteries along with you know SD cards so instead of having these float everywhere I'm going to need this for Iceland and Italy as well and for my vlogging and shooting um, videos um let's see here next thing I'll just go from outer inner my key pouch or my uh, six key clay I think you guys have seen this already but I just have these in here I know I need to clean it I don't have the time I clean it, it gets dirty, I clean it, it gets dirty. I wish I would have gotten something with black inside, but um, this keeps me really organized. And I was, you know, I used to think this is kind of like a waste of money. And then since buying this, I never lose my keys anymore. I always know exactly where they are as far as my house keys and um, office keys. Um, next are another set of keys. This, and it's already stuffed, I can't zip it, but this is a Gucci um, key pouch from a few seasons ago, and I feel like a janitor with this, but these are to the office I am in now. These keys are for my other office. 
Um, I don't know what these keys are for, but I think it's either to a lockbox that we have here. Um, I think we have a few lock boxes as well as a bathroom key, mailbox key, and um, I'm not quite sure. I think some of these keys are duplicates that I can give to my employees. I usually keep this in here other in my work bag, otherwise I can't get into the office. Uh, I also have my car keys, <laughs> and I think I shared in another video that the chain broke off, and so I haven't had a chance to take it back to Louis Vuitton to have it repaired and so normally it would zip close but it doesn't zip close right now so I'm just using this as it is right now because I just can't get into the store to have it repaired. Um, I have a portable phone charger. My business card holder as well as as I collect business cards. This I find it really handy every now and then. So, um, I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's called the Multicartes or Multicart uh, from Louis Vuitton. And this is in the Fuchsia monogram print. I do like it. I find it handy when I have it, but when it gets too stuffed, it just makes it a little bit cumbersome to use because I roll up my dollars and I put coins and it just, it doesn't make sense to use it that way. It's better to use it for business cards or um, credit cards. And I did mention in previous videos that I do get quite hangry if I don't have food and snacks on me at all times. And so this is um, Epic and Berry Blossom. And the cool thing about this is that it has a, um, a seal when this has not been opened. And when you open the bag, you pull it apart the jerky and the nuts and berries or whatever they have on this side they can combine together so it's i like it this one is in berry blossom and it has like two and a half servings for one of these so this could this is like my snack for a day also i have it here is my gucci again it's not zipped because i'm too lazy to zip it but in here I have my makeup essentials, you know, my uh, Chanel compact for when I'm wearing contacts, eye drops. Hopefully this doesn't take a while. I have two Kat Von D lip stains and this is in the color, I am getting old because I can't see this anymore. Um, wow. I'm having a really hard time. Lolita and Lolita 1, Lolita 2. Oh, this is Lolita 2 and this is Lolita. I've been told that one day you just can't see anymore the little print and you're going to need reading glasses and I think that day is coming. Um, <laughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. The Maybelline, I don't know what this is. This is some form of um, lip gloss that I can I keep on me. It's a neutral color in case I get chapped. A pen, the Dandelion Benefit blush. Oh. Some more lipstick. This is the Chanel Boy and in a very neutral color. I also have the Sephora number 40 lip stain. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Um, the NYX lip cream as well. Uh, I'm kind of iffy on these. They don't apply so well and so it just never ends up looking right on my lips. Maybe I haven't um, scrubbed it and made it super soft but with these NYX lip creams I'm kind of iffy on them. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on um, colors to use for my skin tone. Little rack lip pencil. Uh, the Louis Vuitton um, I used to know the name of this and I'm just pulling a blank right now. Oh, they're Flacon that this came out last year uh, in their collection. And the really cool thing about this is that you it's you can spray the perfume from the top. I'm gonna put a hit of it right now. So I don't need to carry a lot. Um, I'm not rubbing my lips, I'm just tapping it, my wrist. Uh, I'm just tapping my wrist, not rubbing it. You can change the scents by unscrewing it and pulling this out. 
um, and I have the scent Don's La Peau. And with Don's La Peau, it's um, it's a little bit florally and powdery. Um, I, I like the scent. It's a beautiful uh, light, not too sweet, not too florally, not too musky scent. I like it. And it, it snaps on like this. So when you buy these, they come with, I think, either the flacon as well as three perfumes. I'm not sure. I have to check my bottle at home. And you can inter you can unscrew it and interchange these scents. I was told I could do that by one store, and another essay said that you can really it's not recommended because when you change out the um, the flask underneath, that um, the scents will intermix and you may not like the scent. So if you don't care, they said go for it. But if you do, um, then buy another one of these. I have a Lorac O5. Um, pencil in a very neutral color so I wear a lot of neutrals I'm starting to run out of space here let me put this on my desk things are flying on the floor um, I have contacts that I keep on me I used to and I have a number of them I used to not carry them on me and then what would happen is my eyes would either get really dry or a contact would pop out and then I would be blind the entire day just looking from one the one eye or the other eye so I've learned my lesson always carry at least a set of contacts on you um, I have the more lip balm um, tampon these I keep antibacterial uh, scents on me, and this is a Bath and Body one, the Peach Bellini. I have a hand cream, which I don't know the name of this. I believe it's a mix of coconut and shea and different types of butters that I was given this at a conference, which I really like using. It's wonderfully moisturizing, but um, I have so many hand lotions that I didn't buy it from the woman who gave me the sample. I want to use all the hand lotions that I have, and I think I probably have 10 different types of tubes at home. Um, and you guys have the same kind of thing where you go to Bath and Body or the Body Shop and they have a promotion or a sale, so I end up buying 10, and then it takes me forever to use a 10. So. But I, I like this because it's compact and small. And the last couple items in here are these Urban Essentials towelettes. And I love using these because they wipe your hands clean when I go um, put gas in my car or I am at a place where there's not any opportunity to wash your hands and you want to wipe them down and the antibacterial thing doesn't work as well as what a wipe would those are great um, I have a hair um, headband for when I work out and in here I have not only one monogram agenda which is this kind of beat up one monogram GM agenda I also have a desk agenda <laughs> I'm a have, if you guys have belong to any of the Louis Vuitton planner parties or the um, agenda groups in Facebook or on Instagram, you will see here that some people's collections are massive. I have two, actually I have three, and I don't know how they keep organized between their personal and their business and their um, social calendar. If I had that many calendars, I would be lost. So um, these two are great. If you want me to do a review on any of them, I am more than happy to do so. It'll give me a chance to play with them. Um, inside my Damier Graffite desk agenda is the um, Hobonichi Cousins um, calendar. And with this one, I have a little stain here. With this one, there is one that's January through June and then July through December. They split it up on purpose to make it more lightweight. So um, if you ever want, if I can do a, a review on the Hobonuchi and the desk agenda. And the GM agenda, it's just, I have some, let me make sure I have this covered. Um, like my name and some cute little things on the inside. So. 
let me know. I can do a review on these guys. Okay, so the battery died and I hope that the angle and the lighting is still kind of the same. So let's continue. Let's see where we left off here. Um, also in my Chanel tote here is my iPad Pro, which um, I got this thing, you know, I got the, the keyboard and it works great many times and sometimes it just does not register the key as I tap the keys. So I either have to turn it off or on or um, detach it and it detaches like this. So I either have to detach it and then it would work again. But I got it in the rose gold color because as you can see, I do like my pink. Um, in the bag here also, I have, I like to keep these plastic Make sure there's not anything private here. I like to keep these plastic um, folders that zip. And I think I got it on Amazon. It's called the Jam Plastic Envelopes, J-A-M. And they come in different colors or you can get them in the same color. And I'm pretty hard on these because what I will do with them is that um, right now they are holding my um, profit and loss statements, my balance sheets, cash flow for 2016. And I do go through these every month just to see how we're spending our money, where we need to cut back, where um, information may have not been entered correctly or calculated correctly. So as a business owner, it's something that's very vital for you to have those three things when you're looking at your reports are the balance sheet, profit and loss, and cash flow. And let's see what else here. I have this bar, like I said, it can give you digestive issues. No, I'm not saying it's gonna give you, but for me, um, it gives me some digestive issues. So when I eat it, I have to make sure that I'm going to be home or in a place where there's not gonna be a lot of people. Just, I know TMI, but I, I'm keeping it real. It just, it's good, but it does a number on my stomach. Let's see here, I have some, you know, note paper that's floating around. I think that went with my um, my agenda, my cell phone, this case. It's really, really cool. I got it from the Case Factory. It's based in Europe and they have these, and it's um, quilted Chanel inspired leather case. I think I paid like $120 for it. It was a lot of money. It didn't really do a good job of protecting my phone because it has been cracked twice now. Um, when I had other cases that were $20, they it never cracked. So either I'm super clumsy, which I can be, or this case is not doing a good job of protecting. But um, it's, it's a pretty cool case. So I love how it feels, and a lot of people like it as well. So um, if you're interested, just check out Case Factory. In, it's based in Europe, and you can order one for yourself. And um, let's see here. I have some two flash drives, USB, and I don't know where to put this, but I think it might make sense to just keep it in there. I'm getting down to this being empty. My Louis Vuitton wallet, my coin pouch, I'm out of space on this chair, and it is almost empty, I think. So. The bag comes with this, I think they considered a cosmetic couch, or Chanel does. Um, I have more tampons, which I'm going to place in my makeup bag right now so I don't forget. Uh, set it aside there. So it comes with this pouch, and what I bought to keep the bottom flat and not um, poof or buckled down is this clear acrylic, this is dirty, this case. I don't know where, or not case, this um, shaper. I don't know where I bought it, but if you look on Etsy, if you look on, um, let's see if I can, it's not doing, let's see if I can get you the kind of reflective quality here from the lighting. I think it's on Etsy. I've found it when you just put um, Chanel Executive Surf Tote Base Shaper you'll see these and I think I paid about anywhere from 15 to $20 for this. It's a lot of money for a shaper, but um, 
I like it because my bag doesn't sag at the bottom, which is makes it look a little bit more, um, kind of like for me, I feel like I'm more pulled together when that doesn't happen. So I think that's it. And I have this poof that I just got at a local boutique for um, under $20. So I think that is it. Hopefully you guys get to know me a little bit more by knowing what's in my bag. And um, I hope you're having a great day. Bye guys.